all their plans there's, will come to There's a lot work. of information and misinformation on social media regarding the evacuations of different nationals that are in, in Ukraine. Is it true that uh, Africans are not a priority in terms of the evacuation process? Um, on that information, to be honest, I cannot even say because I've heard different informations from different people, which is online, and at times it might be fake and at times it might be true. But from the people that I know, my friends, I know they've managed to leave the country. But then when I go online, I see other people saying that they're facing racial discrimination at all. Let's so I think it's a 50-50 type of situation. Maybe some are experiencing it and some are not experiencing it. Yeah. Let's get to the 14 students you know, that are in Sumi. Are you all in one locality? Are you all in one location? Or perhaps you're living in different uh, you know, locations? When it started, we were all living in different locations. And then the day we tried to evacuate from Sumi, which it failed, we decided to stay in one location so that we can be easily located and evacuated if we are all together. Are you living like at an apartment or you're living at a school? Where exactly are you living now? Um, personally, I live in an apartment, so I have some of them here with me in my apartment. And then um, my other fellow Zambian, too, she has some of them in her apartment. Mm. What would you say has been the biggest challenge so far from the time that the war started? Only the evacuation process. That's the only thing that has been the biggest challenge because every single person is desperate to leave. Like every nationality, Nigerians, Ghanaians, um, South Africans, Indians, um, the Arabs too, everyone's just desperate to leave. We just want to leave so that we can feel safe because we don't feel safe. We're scared that anything can happen. From the time that the government, you know, through the embassy began to be in touch uh, with you people in Sumi, uh, the students in Sumi, how would you describe the relationship that has been there? Has, uh, has the embassy been effective in terms of communication? Uh, is there a WhatsApp group where you consistently uh, communicate on what is the way forward? Um, okay, yeah, we do communicate with the Russian embassy, of which their communication is quite good. I cannot say they've left us out there, but they are really communicating, checking up on us and making sure that we are okay and how safe it is. So I, I can say that it's been quite good. And yes, um, we do have a group chat too where we discuss. Have, 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 have the students also, including yourself, uh, been in contact with you know family back home in Zambia? Yes, we are all in contact with our family back home. That's our first priority because I believe they're worrying so much and we're trying our best to calm them down because if they worry too much, it's going to bring us down too because we're trying to stay strong for each other so that we can be able to get out safely and be strong in this. Mm. Um, the, the school that you are at, um, has, 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 has it implemented any form of assistance, uh, you know, for you as the students? Um, the only assistance, the, the only assistance they've given us is giving us information actually of what's going on around and how to stay away from certain places and um, how to when to keep safety. And they've also given us, um, they provided some food, food stuff for all the students, they gave us food too. So they're actually doing a great job. But the only thing that they say they have failed is evacuation, but they'll let us know when everything is safe. That's when we'll be gladly evacuated safely.